Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. So today we had the big balance update. Um, I'm gonna go th quickly through this and I'm gonna tell you what I like, what I don't like, and what are my prediction and finally who am I using ethers for. So um, as you can see, the first, let's talk about the first thing. What am I glad about? So first of all, they gave us the alpha uh, or the ether reset token, which is something really good. And they gave us three of them, which I'm glad about. Um, and the other good thing about this one is if you reset, you get the golden emblem back, which, you know, in a normal reset, you don't. So that was that was really good. I'm glad they did that. That's the first thing. The second thing I'm glad about is the way they approached the adjustments. So the, the way they did it is they were very careful. So what they did is those powerful heroes, extremely powerful heroes, they did not give them a stat boost. And the other ones, um, there are other, you know, not as powerful, but still powerful. They just gave them a partial boost, but not the stat boost of other heroes. And then they buffed uh, a lot of heroes. Um, they buffed, you know, they, they more like increased the stat of some heroes. And then there are some minor buffs here and there to some of the heroes but nothing game breaking. So that's that was good. Now, what am I disappointed about? Well, first of all, let's start with Alpha Ether or the Ether re reset tokens. These reset tokens do not reset the hero back to level one, which was which I was very disappointed at. Like, think about it. If I am using the reset token, like I'm taking out their emblems, I'm taking out their uh, limit broken or uh, limit break and I'm taking out everything and just leaving them at level 480 like if I use this it means that I'm not using the hero I'm not going to use them like why would you not reset them to level 1 1 I just don't get it like you're just going to have you know a 480 hero sitting there in your roster and you're not going to use them so that was something that I was you know um, disappointed about I thought I I think they should have just, you know, the reset token should have reset the hero back to 1-1 one, one, and they gave us those heroes so we can level up another hero back to 480. But, um, you know, I'm not going to complain. Um, the second thing is, so there are some uh, skill adjustment buffs to specific heroes. Um, and these are to older heroes. And there are some buffs to the newer heroes as well. But let me just tell you, these are not gonna change these heroes. These are just very minor changes that are not gonna change the hero in any way. Like, you know, even Mysterio that people give me pushback in one of my videos, that's not gonna change the hero. It's gonna be the same. Um, if I, let me just put it like this. If a hero, if, if any of these heroes were used before, this buff, they're still going to be used. And if these heroes or one of these heroes are not used uh, before the buff, they're not going to be used. So, you know, especially depending on what level of play you play at, I can tell you in advanced play, none of these heroes are going to be used. And even the heroes that they buffed a little bit, you know, such as Chomper, I mean, people who use them, I use Chomper and I'm still going to use him. I don't think it's going to make a difference between you know what was before and now because it's just a minor you know bleed damage increase but it's not gonna change the hero and people who were not using them before they're not gonna be oh wow so they buffed them now and now we're gonna use them so yeah that's not gonna change um the other thing is um now at each level of play you know, whether you're a beginner, mid-tier, or advanced level play, you have heroes that are frustrating. And heroes that, you know, they they um, they dominate the field. And especially in advanced level play, there are two heroes that are most frustrating to a lot of players, which are Aramis and Erling Shin. And, um, you know, there are some nerfs that I hoped th they would happen, and by no means. These nerfs that I'm going to suggest are not going to kneecap a hero, or change him, or make him unusable. If anything, people are going to, still going to be using these heroes. And one of them is Aramis, um, the status immunity buff 
over the status immunity, the status ailment immunity, uh, which is undispellable. I, I just don't know why it's undispellable. And I don't know why it's for four turns. Like that was, that's just too powerful. They should make it dispellable and they should make it for three turns at least. Um, I don't know about the healing that they get or whatever. I don't care about that. I mean, yes, it's powerful, but if they keep it as is and then they make the, the status immunity dispellable, I think that's 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 a welcome change. I think that's a good balance, if anything. The second nerf is Erling Shin. So it's just in a specific situation, which is an equalizer. Now, if you play against Erling Shin, you'll know an equalizer how powerful he is. And it's just when he fires off his special, you only have like a couple of turns, depending on when equalizer is going to happen, because it happens every three turns. So if he fires off one turn before equalizer, there's really no 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 return from this uh, unless you know you have status immunity or you know you have heroes are ready to fire off otherwise like he kneecaps you like he gives you an attack down so you can't kill heroes and he'll give you like a turn or two to recover from this otherwise he's going to give you like 15 or 1600 damage which is insane so what they should do is they should remove that damage that you get from equalizer like you can get that damage if you put in an additional attack now if you modify the attack but if you do equalizer you shouldn't get the damage the additional damage so that's the and i think those are very reasonable nerfs so these are the things that you know i was disappointed about so uh what are my predictions so i think there are nerfs that are coming and i think that some of the nerfs that they suggested in beta they're still gonna happen um whether they're gonna happen the same severity whether they're gonna happen um, you know, um, you know, soon, I don't know. I mean, I think they're still going to happen to some of the heroes, um, especially the extremely powerful heroes. Um, but you know, I, I just don't know when that's going to happen. Um, and I just hope when they do that, they give us additional alpha ethers, uh, or, or reset token, alpha reset token or ether reset token. When that happens as, as much as, you know, as many as the heroes, they, they, they nerf. So that's uh, that's pretty much um, all I wanted to say. Now, the last thing is, who am I using the alpha uh, or the reset tokens? So let me give you a demonstration. So once you do this, you see available tomes, and then you put the uh, reset token, and it shows you what it's going to reset. So you can see I used one golden emblem here. And, you know, Elizabeth, for the longest time, I haven't used her. The only time I would use her is in, you know, War of Three Kingdoms. And honestly, like, I need... I need uh, to uh, limit break uh, Rufian and Nurge because he's an awesome hero. So you just do this. There's no animation or anything like that. They just strip her and keep her in level 480. <sighs> yeah. And the other one, I still I still see Miriam in Midnight in, in, in raids, but I, I just, I, I stripped her emblems already a while ago, uh, but I need the, the, you know, the limit break material. So those are the two I'm gonna take out. Um, I don't have specifically a third one. I'm gonna wait because I don't know what nerfs are coming. So I'm gonna keep the third one in case I need them. I mean, I was thinking about Scotty, but I'll keep her for now and see what happens. So that's uh, pretty much all I had to say. Um, let me know what your thoughts uh, in the comments below, whether you're happy, you're frustrated, what are the suggestions and all of that. I'll, I'm, uh, I'm curious to hear your thoughts. If you like this content, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed yet, do it. And I'll see you on the next one.